Take a circle of radius 1, add a point to its circumference, allow that point to rotate around the circumference in an anti-clockwise direction, add the radius to that point, drop the perpendicular to the diameter, complete the triangle. Now we will add in the angle theta, the x distance, the y height and the radius r. The y distance is called the opposite, the x distance is called the adjacent and the r distance is called the hypotenuse. Add the vertical diameter to the circle and shift it to the right. Let the x-axis of our function be given by the angle theta. The height of our function is given by the x distance divided by the r distance. Now the r is just the radius of the circle which in this case is a value of 1. So we have x divided by 1, which is just the value of x. So the length of x is the height of our function. Now place the x length at the correct angle theta. Now return the angle to 0 degrees. And allow the radius to rotate around the circle. Now you can see the white line mapping out the cosine function. So the cosine function gives you the ratio of the x divided by the r for each angle theta. So let's go ahead and we'll add on a trace. So now we see the full cosine function. So the function we have generated here is f of theta is equal to cos theta and it is given by the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse which is the x distance divided by the r distance for each of the angles in our circle.